Well, listen, right from the beginning, we knew that Bergdahl deserted his post and endangered the lives of those on that military post because if he's captured, they're likely going to get some information out of him. And then we sent hundreds of American soldiers in pursuit of Bergdahl to try to save him. Put them in danger. And putting them in danger. And some people in those operations were, were wounded and killed. Maybe not directly uh, after that, but in the general area he was working in. So, yes. He's on trial. He should be. He's, he would have been found guilty if he didn't plead guilty, certainly for desertion and misbehavior. Uh, I think the judge will take into consideration he was in captivity for five-plus years and he was tortured. But I, I, I think he's going to jail nonetheless because we're not going to tolerate that kind of behavior. Why did he wander away? I have no idea. No, I, I think when we look really back on and put uh, Bergdahl under a microscope and, they, and examine his mental capacities, I don't even know how he got in the United States military, to be frank about it. I, I don't think he should have been in. Uh, he should have been re rejected because he didn't have the mental faculties to sustain the kind of stress we have. What a story. All right, General, it's really good to get your insights on all of this. Thank you. Good talking to you, Maria. Good to see you, as always. General Jack Keane there.